Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to talk about texture variation support in OpenLand. So we can use that on the landscape or we can use that on a static mesh. So it's based on the 4.26 texture variation node, but we have customized that node to give more power into that, make it more useful. So let me show you a little bit demo. Now you can see here we this ground is texture is repeating. All right. And, and we have removed all these tricks to get rid of this road repetition. And this is just a plain texture using on this ground. And now I'm going to enable this new texture variation support. Now you can clearly see all the texture repetition is gone. Here we use a procedural noise and some randomness. It's totally fine in a PC, but in mobile, sometimes it could be costly. In this case, we have option to bake all the settings into a texture and use it. I'm going to now use the, the bake version. So you can see over here, this is the texture with all these settings. It's, it's quite cheap in this case. Also, you can use this in a static measures as well. Here we have a spear with a clip texture applied. Now you can see here, we use the texture repetition over there. We use some settings, but this is how it looks without all these settings, all these changes. You can clearly see all this repetition, but this is after we have added this texture variation support and that's gone. All right, let's get started. Now you're looking at this landscape and you barely see any texture variation because we earlier we used some sort of different techniques to get rid of that. For example, here we have a sun portion in a different angle. And let me go like this and you can see something here. Because the reason is this landscape has some sort of noise in it. So then uh, with that noise, with the correct sun angle, you won't see any repetition. All right. So now we get rid of that by putting the sun in a direct position. And then you can see there are some sort of color variations. This is the material instance of this landscape. And let me get the ground layer. And here we have something called ground variation tint. So here we have intensity. I'm going to put that to zero. All right. Now you can see some sort of repetition right now. So here we still do some, some kind of sort of distance blending. For example, if you go closer, then if you look at some over here, you can see the texture is scaled. It's an effect that we used to get rid of texture repetition, but now we don't need that. So what we're trying to do is we're going to disable that as well. In the, in the UMATIC instance, here we have option called enable distance blending. I'm going to disable that. All right, then let's go a little bit up. Now we can see this texture is clearly repeating all over the place. So basically now we have done is we get rid of all the hacks we do to get rid of the texture repeating. All right, now we have a new option in OpenLand. So here we're going to enable texture variations. So I'm going to enable that. You see now, as soon as we enable that, all the repetition cones. So I'm going to bypass it again and I'm going to show you. This is without this and this is after we enable texture variation. It's simple as that. Now it has a couple of settings we, we can change. For example, we have variation scale. I can put some like higher value like 10. Now we can see we can see the repetition. But if you if you put a, like a smaller value like 0 0.1, it's almost gone. But if you go closer, it looks doesn't looks good then uh, you can uh, put the default value 0 0.8 for this texture it's, it's fine but just play with your texture and, and get the right value and the variation band you barely need to change this and here uh, we have an uh, option called offset so basically we offset these te textures in the uv space so i can put different values and try to play with this one in a moment i'm, I'm going to show you how these uh, settings affect for example here we have rotation scale and all the seed random seed you can play with this value and they get the feel you want here we use some procedural noise and procedural randomness to, to generate this texture randomization sometimes it could be costly in some cases especially on mobile but in a PC, that's totally fine. If that's costly, we have option to bake all the settings into a texture and use it. All right, let me show you how to do that. Here on the settings on this layer, we have option called use bake texture variation. Just click that. Right now, it's using a render target by default. We can see some sort of repetition, but that's, that's, that's fine. We're going to fix this very soon. Here we have a tool to update all these settings. You can open that tool by going into open land on your content directory, Co tools, texture variation baker, and there's a blueprint and just drag blueprint into your scene. Now in the details panel of this blue blueprint, and you have some options. For example, here we use the variation scale to one, but I can put some value like 0 0.1, update and target. Now you can see it, this texture repetition issue is now gone. Earlier we put value like one. So that's why you can see some sort of repetition over there. And if you put 0 0.1, it's totally gone. Of course, you can play with these values and get the get the result that you really want. 
right now we are using a render target but it's not an actual texture in a production game you should use a real texture instead of this render target so in this case we can bake this render target into a texture and use that one so here we have option called baking this is a place we're gonna put this uh, texture it's on a content texture bake of course you can change this and this is a te texture name and i think uh, it's better to use a different name text tv bake let's say ground all right i think we already have a ground i'm going to put ground too and then i'm gonna hit this bake texture button all right now it's bake the texture and i'm gonna come to this place and i'm gonna change this uh, texture so here i'm gonna search for ground two right now you have this bake texture i'm gonna use it yeah that's it now i'm gonna use this texture with support in a static mesh so we can easily uh, tweak around and uh, try to see what we can do and all these settings we do on the static mesh is totally applicable in this layer as well so all these names are similar and just come here and do all the cheese changes all right so let's uh, create a spear place actors i'm gonna select a spear i'm dragging into my scene and let's say uh, let's scale it now we need to assign the material so here we have a special material on the content open land core materials and here we have a new material called m underscore oil texture variation so this is the master material you can uh, create an instance of this and you can place this in a, in a in a place you like for here i'm gonna just use this on this spear so i'm gonna double click and open this material instance now you can see it's over here now let's try to assign some textures so i'm gonna assign a clip texture into this then i'm gonna change the base color normal and roughness and then i'm gonna set the tiling factor to somewhere around like 10 or maybe 20. so now you clearly see some repetitions so now we're gonna fix this using the texture variation support so here we have something called enable texture variations i'm gonna enable that all right let's uh let's re reset all these settings and here we use some random rotation zero and we have random offset zero all right now it looks like earlier all right cool now let's try to give it a little bit of random offset so basically we have some sort of like different sort of mask over here so in this mask we're gonna change the offset and now we can see a different look all right and i think uh, this uh, texture scale is a little bit too much i'm gonna put something like 15 yeah i think that's gonna work right, you, you can play with this get this value and get the uh, place you want and sometimes this is all you need and then if we go closer and you can clearly see some seams over here and i'm gonna show you how to fix that here on the variation map so you can put height map all right and then you can see now it's sort of fixed the issue so here we have some of height map influence and this is without this uh, height map and this is after we maximize this height map influence and you can clearly see these seams are now gone i think this is fine but you can still see some uh, repetition in this case what we can do is we can try to do some rotation so here on this place we have random rotation influence i'm going to put a little bit little bit of rotation like 0 0.1 mm, i think it's still too much i'm going to put something like 0 0.05 i think this is fine in this case and of course you can put to a maximum and it doesn't look nice so you simply add a subtle random uh, rotation and uh, it's it actually fix all the texture repetition and of course you can uh, scale it random scaling and you can try to do that and try to see whether it's working for you or not all right and then uh, we have random seed so basically you can um, change the seed and try to get a newer version yep like this so now i think uh, we're done here now this is how it looks by default and you can clearly see some textures repeating and if you enable these variations everything is gone all right try to use this texture variation support in your projects and sometimes it doesn't work with all these textures and try to use it and if that's worked for you that's it all right uh see you soon with something interesting bye